Hey y'all! So today I'm going to be doing my March book haul. However, almost all of it, except for this portion right here, is actually going to be unboxings. I have unboxed two different boxes and so I will insert both of them in. However, before I get to the unboxings, I wanted to show you a couple books that I got on my Kindle this month. I almost didn't show them because I showed them in another video, however I figured that I might as well show them in this video because they are books that I acquired in this month. So if you've seen my video about my writing and my Camp NaNoWriMo plans, you will know that over the past few weeks I've been doing a lot of work to prepare for Camp NaNoWriMo and I've been outlining my novel. And as I was doing this, I watched one of Katie Tastic's videos talking about um, the writing craft books that she enjoys. And so I kind of wanted to look online and see if there were any writing craft books that really caught my attention, and I ended up downloading a couple of them. And if you haven't seen my video about my writing and my Camp NaNoWriMo plans, I will leave a link down in the description so you can check that out because I talk in detail more about this. So the first book that I got on my Kindle is called Outlining Your Novel, Map Your Way to Success by K.M. Wayland. And the second book that I got on my Kindle is Outlining Your Novel Workbook Step-by-Step -step Exercises for Planning Your Best Book, also by K.M. Wayland. Basically, these two books go hand-in-hand -hand talking about how to outline your book, um, different methods to approach writing your outline, and stuff like that. So I've been mostly using the workbook because it, like it says, it is step-by-step -step exercises to kind of flesh out your novel and to try to figure out different details that you may not have thought about. It'll often ask you specific questions about your novel and you have to go through and answer them and it'll really help you kind of figure out your outline more. So yeah, so far the workbook has been really helpful. I haven't gotten to the first book yet, but I will definitely get to that sometime soon. Also, I just remembered that I had some books that I got from the library that I wanted to show you, so I will go ahead and show those to you really quickly. So depending on when this video goes up, you will have seen these books in either one or two videos. Um, I'm going to be talking about it a little bit in a Tuesday Talks video, which I will leave down in the description, as well as in my March wrap-up, which I will also leave down in the description if it has already gone live by the point that this video goes up. But the books that I got at the library are volumes 1 and 2 of the Lock and Key graphic novel set. Volume 1 is called Welcome to Lovecraft, and volume 2 is called Head Games. And I actually picked both of these up from the library yesterday and read both of them yesterday. I had heard a lot about them from many booktubers, but watching Raylene from Padfoot and Prong 07's most recent book haul made me really want to pick these up, and when I saw how expensive they were on Amazon, I was like, eh, maybe I should check them out from the library instead. The library only had the first two volumes, so now that I want to continue on in the graphic novel set, I will probably go ahead and pick up the entire set. However, I did want to make sure that I actually liked the artwork and the plot before actually buying these because they're super expensive. So yeah, I wanted to go ahead and show these because I didn't really buy them, but I did get them from the library and read them. So that is it for this first portion of my book haul, however I will be seeing you in just a few seconds to do an unboxing. Hey y'all, look what finally got here today! For those of you who saw my February book haul, you will know that I was waiting on a package to get here that was supposed to get there by kind of the end of the week, um, but it didn't get there in time for me to unbox it for my February book haul, so I said I would include it in my March book haul. It literally just got here today, and today is Friday the 27th? I think it's the 27th. This box literally took an entire month in the mail to get here. Like, it was supposed to get here at the latest, March 16th, and like I said, it is currently Friday, March 27th, I believe is the date. So yeah, I'm not sure if it was the seller or if it was just my mail being stupid, but it actually took a full month to get here and it got to a city really close to me and then it was like taken to Georgia, like a facility in Georgia. I live in Tennessee. It got to a town near me in Tennessee and then it got shipped to Georgia and then it got back to where I am and then it got to me. So like, I don't know what was up with the mail, but finally it is here. And let's unbox it. I'm so glad to finally be getting this because I wanted to read these like three weeks ago when it was trying to get here. And now I 
finally can. Come on, cut the box. Scissors, do your job. You have one job. Come on. There you go. Yay. That is a lot of plastic. Okay. And inside this box, I have the box set of the Mistborn Trilogy in the beautiful UK covers. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take these out of the box and show them to you individually. This wrapping was kind of worn already, which makes me sad, but whatever. So we have book one, The Final Empire, book two, The Well of Ascension, and book three, The Hero of Ages. These covers are just absolutely gorgeous. I love the color scheme, like blue and gray and black are some of my favorite colors, and yeah, they're just gorgeous. And I really want to get the rest of Brandon Sanderson's books in these beautiful editions as well. And I think that's going to be next up on my list to get um, Elantris and possibly to get The Way of Kings and Words of Radiance in these paperback editions. I'm not totally sure since I do already have copies of them that are signed. But um, yeah, I do kind of want to get all of Brandon Sanderson's books in matching editions because they're just beautiful. Also, I just realized that my box came ripped. Just everything about this shipping was a mess. Also, I just almost dropped this on me. So yes, that is the end of this segment of my book haul, but I will probably be seeing you in a couple of seconds for the next part. Look what came in the mail today. Um, I made a book outlet order. It's not huge, um, but it did come in the mail today, so I'm going to unbox it now. The trouble here is always holding it up high enough so that the camera can see it but not showing your address, which is very difficult. Also, this box is really damaged. There we go. And as always, there is a ton of paper. And I got another coupon for $5 off of 35, which just makes me want to spend more money on Book Outlet. I'm just gonna start from what I see on the top and work my way down. So the first book that I'm seeing here is This Is What Happy Looks Like by Jennifer E. Smith. Similarly to the last book haul, I got a contemporary, which typically isn't my genre. However, Jennifer E. Smith's books are fairly popular on booktube, and this is the one that stood out to me as fairly interesting. And it was on book outlet and paperback for like $3, and so I could not pass that up. So yeah, this seems like a cute contemporary that would be fun to read during the summer. I really like the covers of her books too, as well as the spine on this one. Like, the spine on this one is really cool. So the next book I see in here is Pathfinder by Orson Scott Card, which is slightly damaged on the corner, but no big deal. Why is it every time I get something in the mail, it seems to come slightly damaged? Anyway, my plan a few months back was to buy both Pathfinder and its sequel Ruins in the same book outlet order. However, this went out of stock right as I was trying to make the order. So I went ahead and I got Ruins and waited for this book to come back in stock, and it did. Pathfinder is an urban fantasy series about a boy who can see paths. So like he can see what's passed through a certain place and I believe he can also see like the history of an object. I'm not sure on that last one though. Bring It From Peru's project has a lot of great things to say about this series and it really intrigued me so I decided to pick it up. Next in the box is one that I've been wanting to read for a really long time and that is The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black. After the whole Twilight craze, I haven't been such a big fan of vampires, however this book seems like it's really unique and it's gotten a lot of high praise from many booktubers whose reviews I trust, such as Katie Tastic. And it's a standalone fantasy novel, which is not super common and it just makes it even more intriguing. And on top of that, the cover's just gorgeous. You've probably already heard a lot about this book, but I'll just give a very brief synopsis of what I know about it so far. Basically, in this world, there are vampires and there are humans, and the vampires are, like, sequestered in cold towns. And once you go to a cold town, you can never, like, return to the rest of the world. And our main character is going to a cold town. I don't know why our main character is going to a cold town, but she is. Also, I think something happens and she thinks that she might be infected. Um, yeah, it sounds really interesting and it's a standalone fantasy which is really intriguing and not super common. And like I said, it's got great praise from Katie Tastic. And finally, the most exciting book in my opinion is The Rhythmatist by Brandon Sanderson. And like with the last Brandon Sanderson book that I got, this is an autographed copy. This was actually what caused me to even do this book outlet order in the first place because I saw that this was a signed copy and so I started looking to see if there was anything else on book outlet that I wanted to get. 
and so I got the rest of the books with it. And it's got his really cool, interesting signature there on top of his name. And this, I believe, is the first book in a series, but I don't think any other books are yet out in the series. This book really caught my attention because it sounds like a much more epic version of Chalk Zone. For those of you who don't know, Chalk Zone was an animated TV show on Nickelodeon back in like the early to mid 2000s. The main character, whose name was Rudy, I think, um, has a magic piece of chalk and in this magical land that I don't remember the name of, when you draw something using the chalk, it comes to life. So like, let's say that you drew like a hole in the ground. There would literally be a hole in the ground if you drew with this magic piece of chalk. And while I'm under the impression that the magic comes from the individual and not from the actual chalk in the series, they sound fairly similar and that really intrigues me because I loved Chalk Zone when I was younger. So that concludes this section of the book haul, which should be the last section. As always, I will leave a link down in the description to my blog and to my Twitter and to my Goodreads. Please add me as a friend on Goodreads. I would love to be friends with all of you. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!